Feature Friday. The freshest. Bitch. <sighs> All right. So we, one of you guys uh, commented on our previous podcast, which is our second podcast now that we do a week called Feature Friday Plus, where we uh, converse about the news, music, mainly music news, uh, you know, things that are going around. We sort of expand on the opinions that we give on some of the stuff we watch together. We review things that maybe uh, uh, could we couldn't post before because they got striked or they got a, a sort of a copyright blocked and all that stuff. So we sort of break it down there and, and you kind of just, it's a good place to sort of get a better understanding of like what we think about certain stuff and just be going a little bit more in depth. So uh, let's go Future Friday Plus. And one of you guys commented that Blackpink, it's releasing a collab, actually Lady Gaga is releasing a collab with none other than... Blackpink. Blackpink. Yeah. Yes. I was thinking. I was. I was about to say Blackpink is about to release a collab with Blackpink. No. 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 With Lady Gaga. Lady. G- other way around. And um, <laughs> in Lady Gaga's latest album, and the news is that Lady Gaga's album was meant to be released on the tenth of April, and then got delayed due to you know everything that's going on around the world, sort of the illness, um, and then no official date has been released since two days ago, and okay. this was by govnews.com so and the, they've been they've been covering this quite closely but then awful news is that it, I, I think a large part of it or maybe the whole project the whole song yeah I think two minutes of that song were leaked has has been leaked and and one of the things like Bali's always been you've been really always very strong on this I, I've never been that strong because I never saw it as a bad thing until you start explaining me it's like dude that's li- literally giving away their hard work for free, you know, and... is is stealing. Basically, I think whoever, yeah. whoever leaks tracks is openly stealing. And... Uh, You've always had a really strong uh, opinion I've always about had it. a very strong opinion about that because uh, I'm a musician and I... And, and as, a, as a creator, as, some, as somebody that has worked hard for anything ever... We've seen it uh, uh, affect people around us and then people at a global scale. So it's really weird to see it happen at this level, dude. Because that's one of the things I never understood. How? How, How does did, it get out? Not only that, why, or maybe it's not, maybe let us know if that's actually been an issue with, with K-pop and bands like BTS releasing or XO. That's XO. very true. Because we, we, I've never heard it. Because I feel the leak community is so slow. It's so small. Yeah, you know, definitely. I, I, I feel people that follow leaks, it's not the majority of people. Most people don't ever know that it's been leaked. You know, but then, like, for example, Dua Lipa, it happened. And Dua Lipa has also worked, ironically enough, with Blackpink. Um, but... Dua Lipa, her album, whole album, right? Yeah. Was leaked. Yep. Like two weeks prior to her and release. She, and she had to release it the day after everything leaked. And she that was wasn't, to. And, that, and that wasn't the plan. I mean, it, it, it breaks it breaks somebody's heart. It breaks the artist's heart. But not only that, but it affects hugely. It impacts hugely in their, in their economics. Dude, uh, at this time as well? And everything that's happening is such a, is such a difficult time, and I think it's such a shady thing to do. Uh, any time a year, any any moment ever, but it's never a good time to leak anything. But uh, given the the recent situations, it, I think it's even more. I don't know. I feel it's it's kind of evil. You know, it's yeah. It's so really... so definitely not come down there, and and. And I think it, it, as true fans, I think they would pro- a lot of people will agree that it is it is a shame that this has happened. I don't know because one of the things I'm reading here it says Blackpink have teamed up with Lady Gaga on her new album Chromatica, and then according to the list, the K-pop group appear on a track called Sour Candy, and there are also features from Elton John, Ariana Grande. That's crazy. So if the uh, this is the thing, if the track list gets leaked. leaked I'm actually a bit forward for that because it's sort of like free promotion. It's I don't mind. Not. I don't mind. Well, I shouldn't say leak. I mean, if the artist decides to put the the, okay, the track list. Yeah. And that, to be fair, if it leaks, not that hurtful to their uh, financial uh, uh, the track list, not the actual tracks. Okay, fair Just enough. like yeah, the, yeah. the the artists, yeah. the lineups. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If that sort of leaks, that's like the best leak that could happen, even though. It's, it's bad. the less harmful. Yeah, so... But it it also takes away the surprise effect of it all. Yeah, to be, but to be completely honest, mate, like, they usually do post that, like, two weeks before they post it. Yeah, but they have control over that, and I think everybody should be entitled having control of what they want to post and when. 
Right, so then they say uh, speculation about Blackpink and Lady Gaga's collaboration surfaced in March this year, but yeah. the label YG did not confirm it or deny the rumors. And then, uh, then it says that Lady Gaga, please explain her reason on her decision for for withholding the album, and she says, please know that I'm thinking of uh, you all. I wanted to tell you that after a lot of uh, deliberation, I've made. The incredibly tough decision to postpone the release of Chromatica. I will announce a new 2020 uh, release date okay. soon. Now, how much of a intriguing collab is that? It is. I think it would be groundbreaking. Dude, that's that's like two of the biggest female uh, 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 fandoms. Not not fandoms. Two of the biggest artists, female artists in the world. Actually, artists overall. Yes. Yes. Actually, I think Lady Gaga has has made very like uh, iconic duos like Beyonce, yeah. you know, and having Blackpink. We're talking about that the other day, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beyonce with Lady Gaga was like the pinnacle of 2010. Now, can you imagine? Oh, 2009. We we, we, came out. we actually talked about it in a previous podcast where we we're saying you have these four talented girls, man, in front in YG of Blackpink, and they only have 13 songs, right? Each song killed, killed. Absolutely sold out every single time. There's no Western, there's no artist worldwide that does those numbers. Nope. Consistently. No. Maybe in a specific period of time when they're hot, you know? Yeah, the fluke. No, the, no, the I, peak. I wouldn't call it the fluke, I call it the peak. The cream of the crop. But <laughs> if, if you have a group like Blackpink that kills everything in terms of numbers, mm hmm. It like knocks it out of the park every time bro it's like it's like six it figures knocks. every time views wise it's six figures stream wise it, every time and then you only make them make 13 songs and now you you can't have them in this weird place right where and, all and their fans are starving and it's like is in they have done this thing this this weird thing it's not like the, all the 13 songs have been dropped together. No, 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 no. It's like... Sporadically. Yeah, it's like giving you a seed and letting it kind of like sit on the ground, on the soil for a little bit. But then every time they do it, it's ginormous. Yeah, and it's that's crazy. sort of the science behind it, I think. I don't know how it works. It's, it's just kind of crazy. But seeing it from a pattern perspective, it's sort of very long time without music. Here's a song that came out of nowhere. And then... Pew, Right, because the the fans and worldwide is expecting more from these ladies, and and they want more and more and more. And then when someone releases, they they eat it like it's chocolate cake at a birthday uh, a party. Yeah. And the only cake that there was, and yeah. it, it sort of explodes. And now, can you imagine if they release this and they make a video? It's one of the promotional tracks. This would hit like one billion views. For sure, dude. Black like blinks. I see all this stuff in the in the, in the on Twitter and, and and people messaging me and messaging us, saying like, you know, as as fans, it's it's like how much more content is there left? And their fans are so nice. They're creating content in the sake of of keeping themselves entertained and all that stuff. And they support this the, the, these girls like like so hard and and so dedicated about it. And then. It's, you know, the lack of music is sort of like, why? Yeah, and the fact that they have done several world tours with 13 songs on Wild. Only, it's, it's like, Bananas, how? Bro. Bananas. How? And the rest of their content is, what, dance covers? It's bananas. Bro. Singing covers? But that just shows you, that just shows you what? that. What? If you have, if you have four, if you're really mean, right? Mm -hmm. If you're really mean, like, you don't, you don't let them, you sort of put them in a box. Okay. Right? And I'm not saying that I'm not saying YG is really mean to them. I'm just saying, uh, hypothetically, if you're a label, and then for the sake of the argument, yeah, yeah, I mean you're really mean, and then you only make them, you make them do enough so that they blow up globally, and then you make them do sort of like uh, uh, covers and dancing and stuff like that, because they're so good that they can kill everything. Yeah, they're just to maintain them relevant type of thing. Dude, you 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 basically you're cashing in every time. And you have done trendy it stuff with checked. Yeah, and you have done it with the less amount of, of investing time, of investing time and money. Trending because the girls are already trained; they're already done. Trending content check, selling out stadiums check. If uh, uh, um, fa fans uh, fans waiting for more content, so anything they 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 put out, it's well received check. Millions check. 
very little investment in terms of production for uh, uh, long uh, albums. Check, because Blackpink doesn't even have an album. Yep, what that the? is wild. Dude, I would love one. That is crazy. Said every blink ever, to be honest. <laughs> it's so Literally. wild, and I and I don't really like engaging in this type of conversations too often because. It's it leads. It leads to that that narrative of labels are the evil. devil. Yeah, yeah, and and there's just so much more going on that we don't know. And I, and I, and I've always said it. It's like it's very hard to construct and an opinion when it's from an outsider's perspective. And is there so much speculations and so many other people's opinions that get you know changed and and manipulated in order to fit a certain agenda? And so it's it's really it's really uh, it's a very tricky topic to actually talk about. And then without actually being involved whatsoever. Like we are literally scratching the surface of literally. this monster. And how how could we have a very concrete idea or opinion? What I conclude is is that I, I think from my opinion is it's the conclusion I've come come down to is I just forget the for, you know, forget the numbers, forget the, the projects, forget that they don't have this amount of songs or this amount of songs or they don't have this, they haven't come back. Mm -hmm. I just wish those girls like the most amount of, of health, in terms of the mental health, in terms of the physical, physical health, health. I, I just wish that they can fulfill their, their career uh, dreams as far as they can go. And I just really wish that, uh, and I wish them, I send them all the, all the blessings possible that they're able to, to do what they want to do down the road, that this is only part of the journey, that this okay. isn't the, the, the be all, the, the, the the be all and all. Yeah. So, is that a saying? Be all end all. Yeah. The be all end. All. Yeah, it is a saying. The be all <laughs> end all. And and I I just because I don't know how tough it must be for them. Yes, I think. Well, I don't as 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 a as a as a person who's creative and likes to do stuff. I mean, I've read multiple multiple um articles about how easy is for Lisa and Jisoo and stuff for the girls for all of them to write a song whip a song in 25 minutes themselves you know Wild, and uh, Lisa like whips up choreographies in like yeah, two minutes so these girls are creative uh, monsters they literally can do anything in, in the quickest time under pressure not pressure they, they, they can handle it right Yeah. but they don't have the freedom to really expose it and um or explore that that, that that side of it um and um yeah i really do hope they do have at, at the end uh, further on in their career they have a chance to actually tell the world and show the world what they're really capable from their hands from their own craft you yeah. know nobody else's uh, input into it but, yeah, like but I, themselves i just i just wish whatever is next for them as a group or for it's them the individually, greatest. it's yeah. the best thing that happens because yeah. they're so talented. They're so talented. And we don't condone leaks. Nope. That's a hard no for me. Yeah. That that's, has always been a hard no. That was no. tough. I mean, it's it's great for conversation, I guess. It's great for content, I guess. It's great. Look, we're, it's, it's all part of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's the YouTube game. It's the news game. It's the... People love that that sells clicks and then news articles are typing up. It's the internet game. It's the internet game. You know, we get it, whatever. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's like, if you really like these artists, you 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 would kind of see through that. And yeah. then you would stand by them and, and support them. And we yeah. haven't we haven't watched them. We won't watch the leaks or anything like that. Until it releases officially, we yeah. won't. And we, we won't will watch for it. sure then eat that like his uh, well recently made ravioli. <laughs> In that note. <laughs> Sup people, if you're a dancer. <laughs> Sup people, if you're watching this and you're a rapper or a beat producer. A singer, a ghostwriter, or even just somebody who likes new music. And this is for you. Feature Friday is the show where we make new music every week featuring your tracks, your raps, your lyrics, or yourself as an artist. There's no catch. This isn't one of those weird posts where you click on the website and you're trying to order airports and they say it's free and then you have to pay like a hundred thousand million dollars for uh, shipping. Uh, this is completely free. We understand how difficult it is in the music industry to get seen and there's so many amazing rappers and singers and beat producers out there. So 
this is just a place to showcase your skills. We showcase our skills, we make music every week, which we love doing anyways. We get to show new artists to new people and new people to the new artists. So if you'd like to get featured next, message me here on Instagram or email me and we will get in touch pretty soon. Please do it fast because uh, a waiting list is forming and we don't want anyone waiting around. Keep scrolling by. See you Friday. Peace. Bye-bye.